Here are some great reminders from Scripture. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Meaning each one of us, each one of us, we have this proclivity to fail, this inclination to sin, to fall short of the way of life in which God has, has taught us to follow Jesus. We might be able to go throughout a big part of our day and not commit a sin. We might not do something that we know is, is clearly wrong. But my guess is that, that rare, rarely a day happens when we don't think something wrong. When we, we don't end up judging someone else and their motives or their character. Or whether we lust after someone to whom we're not married. Or we let envy and jealousy just run rampant and go unchecked. Or maybe it's just simple pride to think to yourself, you know, I've arrived. I don't, I don't have any more growth in my life. I think we all innately know that we have this inclination to sin without being able to curb it on our own. As the saying goes, Poe Buddy's nerfect. You've heard that? Poe Buddy's nerfect. We don't always like being reminded of being less than nerfect. And that can sometimes be a problem. And that's why the line after all have fallen short and fall uh, short of the glory of God is this. And all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. When we accept Jesus' sacrificial death on the cross and the resurrection, when it finally makes sense to us, we, we get to have this restored relationship with God. Our sins are forgiven. We become new creatures spiritually. We are new creations in Christ. Here's another one of those incredible reminders that we need so often, this time out of the letter to Ephesus. <clears throat> but because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in love, rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. But sometimes we have a hard time grasping the reality of what it means to be forgiven, what it means to be loved and created as a new life in Christ. <clears throat> and so Jesus wants his followers to be clear on this and so he gave us these two practices, these sacraments, to remind us that we are forgiven. And here's what we mean by the word sacrament. A sacrament is an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace. And it's a means to experience that grace. It's a way to experience that grace. We celebrate these and practice these sacraments outwardly to show what's happening to us inwardly. Inwardly. 